Ow. Yeah, yeah. Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today's video is going to be testing out the Vamp Stamp. It's a stamp for winged eyeliner. It's going to be an interesting video. You should just watch the whole thing and see your own thoughts about it. But really quick, I wanted to tell you guys, here is the winner of the two MacBook Pros that I was giving away. And also, don't be upset if you didn't win because you can head over to my Instagram where I'm doing the biggest makeup giveaway I have ever done. The rules and all will be under the picture. Super easy to enter. So head under to La La Lee on Instagram and enter to win loads of makeup and lots of winners. So kind of like scattered brain in this intro. Aren't I always though? <laughs> I saw this um, and I thought, wow, what a cool thing to test out for you guys. And I actually got it in the mail a while ago and I'm just now getting to film with it because my week has been so crazy. This is, um, yeah, it is like a metal tool with two rubber ends and it uh, has these little arrows and you can just like and get perfect liner. But just watch the video, okay? Mm -hmm. And subscribe to my channel before you leave. Subscribe today. Let's jump right in and get started. <laughs> all right, guys. So now we're all close up and personal. We're going to go ahead and get started and test out this little vamp stamp booger to give me the perfect wing liner. So it says the struggle for the perfect wing ends here. Conquer this complicated makeup technique with minimal effort. It says it allows for a smooth and perfect wing liner look that will immediately up your makeup creds. Shows in the picture that she went ahead and just drew regular liner and just on the little wings. Um, the wing is obviously the most difficult part, I think, in wing liner, not per se the liner across the lid. I didn't get like any specific instructions other than just knowing to stamp it. I don't think I did. Um, and I probably wouldn't read the instructions if they did give me any specific instructions because I'm Laura. <laughs> There are two types of people in the world. There are the people that read the instructions and do every single detail before they test out something, or there's the people like me who just dives right in. Comment down below and let me know what type of person you are. I'm going to be using this little NYX matte liquid liner right here. That one is pretty simple, and then I just kind of like made it cut off at the end so we could get the vamp stamp up in there. I have one of my favorite gel liners. This is the Morphe gel liner in Slate and I'm just going to paint the end of the brush with it. I'm going to kind of dip it in there and then paint the end of the brush. Just making sure ample amount of product is on here. I'm kind of nervous. I don't want it to mess up. So I would assume you would just go like this. Okay, so I'm pressing. Can you guys see that? Oh. Oh no, let me add way more product. Okay, now I assure you there's like globs of liner on this. And basically I'm just gonna try again. I think that was my fault, honestly, that I just didn't have enough product. Here I go. I did press kinda hard and you know what? It's not bad. Because what I would do now, which wouldn't be difficult, is just take the little liner brush. I mean, I'm not obsessed though. This little tip is a little blunt. I think it's because it didn't press down hard enough. Oh, that didn't fix it. Um, that one's kind of sort of a fail. I wanted that to work. Let me try the left side. Okay, fully loaded. I'm gonna like latch that little end piece right there. Oh. Oh, one more time. Oh, okay. Okay, I wanna try again over here. I mean, I wiped off all the mess. I put a lot more liner. I mean, I don't know if you can tell, I just dipped it in my gel eyeliner. I just, I don't see liquid liner working on this because it would just dry so fast. I want this, I want to figure this out, you know? Oh, oh damn, I stamped it on the wrong end. Well, let me take this eye off now. What? Um, we're gonna try liquid liner now. Just gonna take that NYX liner and paint the edge. Liquid liner has to be what I'm missing here. It's gotta be liquid liner that you use, huh? That's it. All right, ready? I 
feel like the liquid liner dried a little too quick. So let me do one more stamp. Honestly, this is becoming like a lot. Well, I feel like I could have done 18 wing liners by now, but let me try again. It's like bubbling up with liquid liner. I have so much product on it. Um, okay, that, so it's messy, but like that was our most successful run. So we're gonna do that to the right side. We're gonna wipe off this mess. I hope you guys know this is a learning experience together. We're like trying to figure this thing out together and I hope you're with me on this. Really fully loaded, I'm gonna do it quickly. Uh, uh, uh. Boom. Oh my god, that looks so bad. Thank god liquid liner is really easy to wipe off versus gel liner. Outer corners of my eyes are a little bit raw. Now, I have no makeup on this area now, and I'm gonna let it, you know, dry 100%, obviously. And then I'm gonna try the liquid one more time. I mean, I'm gonna go ahead and say, like, I'm not really recommending this. Like, hell, if you have a hard enough time with liquid liner, this is making my life hard with liquid liner, and I feel like I, I, you know, have got it down pretty pat. But I feel like this is making my life more difficult, so I don't feel like it would be easier at home. I'm just, at this point, trying to make it work. All right, right eye, ready, set, and... Boom, baby! This is what I would do if I was left with this little monstrosity on my eye. Oh, go ahead. Oh, that just looks so bad. Wing it out. And then I would take a little cloth. That is not that great of a wing, but I'm trying. That's what I would do to fix it. So I don't know if this would be more so a good tool to kind of guide you and you can kind of tap in and fix in the rest of it. I don't know, maybe that's it. I feel lost. Okay guys, my overall experience with this is it's definitely not worth your time. I tried it out with my Morphe liner and my Freaky Rose Gel liner. I tried it out with liquid liner. I tried it on with makeup on my eye. I tried it with no makeup on my eye, my bare skin. Okay. This is my repaired liner. This one's okay. This one is just... She's seen better days. A little bit much for me. You know, it, it's not worth all the trouble. I feel like um, I've mentioned to my subscribers before just to practice your wing liner before you go to take a shower. Before you take a shower, practice putting out some wing liner so you can wash it right off. If you nail it, you're going to have to wash it right off. But that's how I got good at doing wing liner, or I think I'm good at doing wing liner. <laughs> but that is just a little tip to you guys yeah, do mm -mm, this was a poop for me this product i don't recommend love you guys thanks for being here and watching be sure and subscribe to my channel before you leave and i'll catch you in my next video yeah yeah don't forget to get over to my instagram and enter that giveaway Ooh.